Hello, beautiful friends. I wanted to stop in here and I wanna have a little chit chat with you about letting go of the drama and putting some space between ourselves and what might be unfolding in our world at this time that brings up a lot of fear, um, right? A lot of chaos, a lot of uncertainty, all those things. So I thought I would grab my tea and just stop in here and, and talk this through. Um, I want to offer this to you because this is the way that I live uh, myself personally. So I was having a, a conversation with somebody um, last night and you know they were getting very triggered by a lot of things that have been um, you know kind of like unfolding in our world if you will and you know the truth is things are going to continue to unfold because there's a lot of stuff that is, um, I think that evolution wise, we're moving to a place that's a lot more, um, you know, loving and community. And we're seeing a lot of duality, a lot of opposition and sides and finger pointing and all that kind of stuff. So it's chaos, it's drama, it's a lot of stuff that doesn't feel so good. So um, I'm gonna invite you in this moment and in this space to open your mind and to not be so focused upon, you know, who's right, who's wrong, all, all those things, right? Let's just be together in the energy of um, talking about how can we put some space in between ourselves and what's happening in the world. And of course, I talk about this stuff um, a lot and in different ways, but this is just like a chat on this one. So. This person, I said to them, they said, well, this is going on and that's going on and this has been going on and uh, I'm like, yeah, I said, okay, well, let's just, let's just kind of walk through this for a minute because I took them through an exercise of actually me like airdropping them. So if I airdropped you guys, right, we went to a beautiful island um, where there was no technology, right? There wasn't any TV. I left all my technology at home and um, I was on an island and had beautiful vegetation. I was surrounded by aqua marine water and the sand was warm and you get the picture, right? <laughs> it's probably where we all want to be right now. Um, but my point is this, if I close my eyes and I see that place, I can be there. I can be there. Now, it does take practice to do these kinds of things. And I'm suggesting that now is a perfect time to start getting curious about how we're living, what we're allowing into our sphere of experience, if you will. I talk a lot about, you know, being responsible for what we consume, right? With our eyes and our ears, even what we eat and what we drink. And if it makes us feel off kilter, Right? If, if I'm watching something on TV and it's making me feel really bad, if I get good at checking in with myself and I get good at being aware of the adrenaline and when things are coursing through my veins and how my body feels, then I can be more intentional with what I allow in to my temple, if you will, right? And I want you to think of yourself as though you are a sovereign being. You matter. You are important. Well, one thing I do know is nobody here on this planet is going to be able to care for you the way that it is your job to do. And one way we can do that is to start getting really curious about what I allow to affect the way that I feel. Sometimes it's people, right? This is, this is just a wonderful place to start. Now, you know, if we're tuned into TV, it, it, let's start here. Check in with yourself. Start to check in with yourself a little bit every day, if you could, right? How am I feeling? 
How am I feeling? How's what they said making me feel, right? What I'm watching, how am I feeling? Oh, I'm here I am on the computer. I'm starting to go down like Facebook lane or, you know, whatever. It's, it's about being in charge of how we feel. Now, I personally, um, I've never been a huge drama kind of person, right? And I say drama, it could be drama in relationships. It could be drama this, drama that, drama on TV for sure right now, um, right? This is like serious reality TV going on in our world. And so um, I like to feel peaceful. I like to feel um, serenity in my life. I like to feel, I like to know that I can feel that way. And because this is the way I choose to feel, people who are watching this who know me personally, I don't, I don't watch TV. I don't watch it, right? Um, do I see news? I do from time to time, but I don't, I don't watch it on TV, right? I, I pick and choose where I go to, to see what it is. And, and honestly, there's, I don't believe it to a large degree. So um, I, I really navigate from inside out. That's how I live my life now. And, um, you know, and, and you sitting there thinking right now, you may think, think, be thinking that I'm, I'm crazy for not wanting to know what's happening in the world. And what I do know is that I have a wonderful life experience. And what I do know is that I'm very peaceful inside often. Now, I still get stressed out. Things still happen in my life that bum me out and are hard to get through, okay? But I do have tools. I've been doing this stuff a long time. So I'm really, my goal is to find balance and, and find a stability within myself. That's my goal, right? And when I give myself to something and I'm, and I'm, it's out of balance, I find a way to pull myself back in. And that is what is going to be absolutely necessary during these crazy times. It's, it's about us stepping forward into self responsibility and being intentional with where I allow, where am I allowing myself to be pulled in, right? Every time you leave yourself for another person, for a news flash, for this, for that, you literally leave yourself. Literally. How do we get back to ourselves when we're out of balance? Here's how. Your breath. There's nothing more powerful than your breath. Your breath keeps you alive, literally. <laughs> and it is the quickest way I know when we don't have things to use, right? Apps and things like this, close your eyes and start breathing. If you did that like for 30 seconds, one or two times a day, you would start getting better at it, right? Getting, not better, don't love that word. Um, you would start uh, getting more comfortable with it and it would become more natural for you to be able to go present in that way. Another way for us to regain balance is literally paying attention to how I feel in the chair that I'm sitting in. How do I feel? My feet on the floor, you know, what kind of texture is underneath my feet? I just kind of like do a survey in my body and I check in and see literally how I'm feeling. I could um, go and take a walk, right? I talk about these things a lot. You guys are probably sitting there thinking, yeah, yeah, we know. Um, but, and you may hear these things a lot, but you may not have felt like, it's always good to get reminders, right? For me too, I need reminders. And I'm offering this today to be a reminder to you. And I am, I'm looking at the clock here and I'm talking forever and I didn't mean to do this but I feel like I'm having a conversation with you guys. And if there's some comfort that I can offer you or a reminder that I can offer you about how to navigate life, then these are just basic things, right? How to navigate things when, when they get crazy. Forget about your own, don't forget about your own life, but there's so much happening outside of us that now is the time to come back to self. And um, so don't forget, 
you got breath, right? Um, close your eyes, right? Do a little self check-in. Um, sit in the sunshine if you can. I don't care if it's cold, bundle up, get outside. Go outside, listen to the birds. Look at the trees, watch them sway. Count the leaves. There's just so many things that you can do to help yourself get back in a grounded place. So, all right. I, uh, I, I hope this was helpful. Love to you guys, okay? And remember, how you feel is the most important thing. And what we talked about today is a great way to begin to start being curious about what you allow in to yourself, right? Where your attention is going and being more intentional with what you're allowing yourself to consume because we want to feel grounded and we want to feel like we have a strong core, okay? So limit things, limit, and check in and see how you feel, okay? All right, love to you all. Talk to you soon.